So thank you. So uh, I was thank I would like to thank the organizer for the great opportunity to speak in this conversation in this conference. So um, I would like to thank especially Professor Namikawa for many helps uh, to prepare my my talk. So I'm going to talk uh, recent work on the uh, the arm decomposition. So it's basically uh, a story in KXP. So let me start. So let me uh, give a brief introduction. So um, so let's start with uh, uh, a complex smooth project variety. So we have this DAM complex and we consider the uh, uh, hot filtration. So hot filtration is just the stupid filtration. So it's given by the truncation. So I, so the basic question in hot theory is to, to have the, uh, to ask the E1 degeneration of this bad sequence. So uh, it have many consequences. The particularly important thing is the uh, Kodaira vanishing theorem. So once you have a Yuan degeneration theorem, then using secondary cov cov covering trick, then you can prove a uh, Kodaira uh, vanishing theorem. So there, uh, the classical method is really transcendental. So you need to uh, take, a, take a care metric on this associated uh, complex network manifold and then use the theory of harmonic forms, you will really get a de hot decomposition. And by the hot decomposition, then you obtain this uh, uh, E1 degenerate de theorem. Another uh, consequence, pure algebraic, is the Hodge isometry. So you will have this, uh, the Hodge number of the HPQ, uh, the H, this dimension is really uh, equal to the, uh, this P and the Q switched. So this is not obvious from a uh, 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 from uh, algebraic point of view, but you can prove your hot left sheet. Okay, so then, uh, then we have this uh, algebra method. Things, things this statement is you see is uh, pure algebraic. So we are looking for algebraic method. So that's a, a method uh, discovered by Deligny Luzi. So uh, basically, you need to. Uh, so since X is an uh, algebraic variety, so it's defined by a bunch of equations. Then you can uh, spread out X to obtain the integral model over this curly X. is a, is a, is a, a scheme over over an integral scheme S, which is a type of that. Then we're trying to uh, take model P reduction of this uh, uh, integral model for large P. Then use the Frobenius uh, in the character P. Okay. So uh, the, the main device to, to get this uh, uh, degeneration is the uh, so-called uh, Durham decomposition theorem. So we, let, let's start with this uh, uh, diagram of the Frobenius. So we have this X. Now we X is a, a variety, smooth variety over, well, average variety in, uh, in defined over K. K is a, a, a P, character P field. And we have this, uh, 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 this Cartesian diagram, you get X prime, and you have this uh, uh, relative Fobinius, X to X prime. And this composite of this X to X is absolute Fobinius on X. So just a matter of, uh, just, I just lay out this uh, uh, notation. Now, this statement of the Durham decomposition theorem. So suppose X smooth of X and W2 liveable. And we uh, then assume additionally that the uh, dimension of the X is uh, less or equal to P minus one. Then in the Durham category of X, of, uh, of, of X prime, uh, we have this uh, uh, isomorphism. So this is really means the like quasi isomorphism of these two complex. So left hand side is uh, this down complex associated to X and you push forward by the relative Fobinius. Then the right hand side is really, there are some of this, uh, this uh, trivial, trivial uh, complex. So this shift by, by I, by minus I. So you'll get this uh, uh, isomorphism. Then, uh, then you apply the standard machinery, I mean, the, by the, uh, um, 
is uh, uh, in the using the spread out, then you can from this theorem decomposition theorem you can deduce the uh, this E one theorem theorem over C. So this uh, algebra method, which I which I want to explore further. Now this uh, uh, a little smart a remark. So uh, so Iluzi in one uh, expository article asked whether this uh, uh, theorem decomposition theorem can be generalized for uh, non smooth non smooth x. He asked this the uh, very special uh, uh, non smooth thing is uh, semi stable reduction over this uh, w two. Actually, he asked uh, semi stable reduction over w. But actually, this is uh, uh, the question is also meaningful for uh, just the uh, semi stable reduction over w two. Then he he wonder if this is still true. Then uh, uh, um, actually, uh, in my recent John work with uh, uh, Jin Tao Sen Tu, yeah. which uh, who is my colleague okay. here. So actually, we we construct explicit examples, uh, starting dimension two, um, of uh, arbitrary uh, characteristic, uh, the uh, negative answers to the uh, um, elusive problem. So that means we you you will find you will find uh, this uh, semi-stable reductions, which is which actually is proper. So um, yeah, this uh, have a, now is a drum indecomposable, but. This example is actually the E1 degeneration, have a E1 degeneration property. So actually this says that somehow E1 degeneration property is strict, stronger than this uh, uh, Duran decomposability, okay? So this is a remark. Okay, now, okay. So now we come to page. So, so in this page, I want to uh, explain the uh, fantastic result of August Rogowski which generalized the linear Z in a very way. So he, he's there doing really uh, numbering hard theory. So um, now, so now we uh, choose and fake. So the, the examples just like in the linear Z that means X is smooth of X, okay? And this double two liftable. Now we choose and then fix such a lifting. And we can then, August Vygotsky constructed a uh, uh, Cartier transform and inverse Cartier transform, which is uh, equivalence categories. For uh, on one hand, it's a certain category of uh, um, uh, connection, weak integral connections, and the other hand is uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, category, certain category of uh, um, uh, Higgs, Higgs, Higgs modules. So bundles uh, modules equipped with Higgs field. So. Now I just use the uh, inverse Cartier. Uh, so, so now I, let E theta be a new potent Higgs modules of X prime with a suitable level condition. So the L is the level of the theta, okay? The theta is the le level is L, with condition L plus dimension of X is less than or equal to P minus one. So in particular, if uh, this, uh, um, if you take level L equal to zero, that means dimension X less than P minus one, okay? Then you have this uh, decomposition in the DF category. Okay, this uh, uh, I just put in this way. So you have this, uh, so this Cartier inverse, the inverse Cartier of the E theta will be a flat module on X prime. Mm -hmm. you, you have this associated drum complex because it's a, a integrable connection. So you form this, uh, the drum complex and you push forward by the Frobenius then the theorem says that they decompose in the drop category. And, and the right-hand side is uh, actually it's a Higgs complex. So in the literature, literature some, some guys call this uh, Kozu complex, but it's the same thing. So it's, uh, uh, it's Higgs complex. Speaking a lot on the expansion complexity of specific polytopes which are relevant in optimization problems, so, like for example- So I think some of the boys uh, in the audience. But I want to point out that for, I mean, it's actually a difficult problem if you give them, um, Good. So, so, so yeah, so let me, let me continue. So now we are uh, just uh, uh, um, showing the example. So actually this example show the relation between the August for Gorsky decomposition and the Dlinsky decomposition theorem. 
So we just take the simplest one. So take E theta to be a uh, OX, a cube with a trivial uh, his field. Then the inverse Cartier is just oak x prime with exterior differentials. And uh, you plug in this uh, data into this uh, uh, August for Gox, for Gauss's Degontian theorem, actually it's nothing but the, uh, the, uh, the linear disease Degontian theorem. So, yeah, okay. So now uh, let me uh, speak quickly the, uh, the motivation of the whole project. So uh, the motivation is follows. So, um, so suppose you have a, K, a, K, a perfect field K and you have a smooth projective variety uh, which is d-dimensional over K and you, you are uh, given a reduced normal clouding divisor. So at infinity. So uh, this is uh, one uh, fundamental theorem by due to the uh, Gaber pure theorem. So I, I wrote this a PL case means the, the space is defined over P but coefficient is defined L. So that's follows. So K is a finite field of Q elements and you choose some prime uh, L which is uh, different from P and V is arbitrary Q, Q bar least sheaf of pure y w over u, u is a complement, then you take this uh, perverse extension and take cohomology of it, then this is, the garbage show this is uh, the pure of weight w plus i. So this is really um, a, a theorem, a deep theorem in the, this, uh, 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 for the uh, kill bar shift, the theorem of kill bar shift. Then it has a uh, uh, complex analog. So uh, this theorem, Start with the theorem uh, with the work of uh, uh, Stephen Zuck in 19 uh, published in 1979, and generalized later on by uh, by two groups, the Katani, Kaplan, Schmidt, and the Kashiwala, Kawa independently. So I call this infinite, 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 infinite case. So we take k to be uh, com the field of complex numbers, and the v um, and a variety of host structure over the uh, u. So I should write here the UAN. So I uh, use the complex topology. Then, uh, then the, in the same chromology group of this uh, uh, of this VHS has a canonical pure Hall structure of weight W plus I. So certainly this is analog. And this theorem actually is a conjecture by the Lini and approved by, by these groups. So um, then my motivate my question. It's natural question actually. So it's uh, how about PP case? So it means if you somehow you consider a, a variety defined over P and a coefficient P. So that means really crystals of P in, in defined character P. So, so uh, that's a uh, uh, questions. Okay. Now, um, so now I go to the uh, a notion. Um, so which I intro introduced is a so-called intersection Landine complexes. So I, I wrote, I, I give a little bit, uh, a little bit of notation here. So S is a uh, Northern scheme and X of S is a smooth and D is a device a relative of S. So for simplicity, I assume this simple normal clothing. So, but it's, it's a word, it's, the, the, the theory works for uh, reduced normal clothing divisor. So and the lambda is a, 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 a scalar in the uh, in the in the base base scheme S, and uh, and you are, you you have uh, you are given with the uh, flat lambda connection over this uh, log scheme, so lambda connection just means this nabla satisfy a lambda Leibniz rule. So so you have Leibniz rule, but in the front of D you have a lambda. Okay. So lambda equal to one is the usual uh, the definition of connection, and you can define the integrability. So I call it flat. And uh, uh, so I write this this uh, this uh, long notation this with a short one. So this uh, really a terminology in log geometry. So I consider this uh, uh, x log is log scheme uh, equipped uh, with a log structure given by the divisor d, and s is a trivial log structure. Okay, so now you have this uh, lamp by the by the integrability. So you have this uh, uh, lambda co lambda complex. Okay, so uh, just as a matter of a convention, we call lambda equal to one is dumb complex, and lambda equal to zero is a Higgs complex. Just uh, 
just to explain the notation we show uh, in the August for Gauss theorem. So actually, this uh, uh, this I wrote here. So okay, so they are main players of the power theory in the Nami and Hodge theory. Good. Okay, so now uh, I give the recipe to uh, to the construction of the intersection lambda complex. So it follows. So it's given really local and then group. So you take any point, and you take a system of local coordinates, which means that I have a, a tau map from u x to the uh, this uh, n dimensional fan space of s, and oh. On the, uh, uh, the such that the uh, d is locally defined by the first r coordinates, and I set this uh, uh, notate this om the omega i is the log form, and the omega j is the regular different form, and I put this uh, omega uh, uh, raw script uh, this uh, uh, i with index i this is just which wage product. Okay, then uh, uh, with this basis. And we can write this uh, uh, this uh, lambda connection into components, into sum of components. So this uh, co the coefficient nabla i is really the endomorphisms in the in this uh, uh, local bundle, local module, and it's which is f linear. So now, so now I uh, I just take uh, this om omega bullet bullet. Uh, it means this. Uh, Direct sum of all uh, differential exterior differentials, and similarly for this uh, this omega bullet in nabla. So I forget this the differential structure and just consider this greater module. And omega star, uh, omega bullet in nabla is naturally graded omega bullet x over s modules by which product. This is a regular differential forms. So you just you just you take an, a component in omega bullet in nabla, an element there, then you take the uh, an element the regular form we just take wage wage of them okay on, on the on the right hand side and then the uh, 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 direct computation uh, shows the following so this omega bullet gradient sub module inside this uh, uh, this uh, uh, omega bullet in nabla generated over this abelian sheaf with uh, these sections of such form, okay? So this is read, so you take index running uh, through the O subset of uh, uh, this uh, R, those R is uh, really the component, this define the components, the real components, local the, the branches of the D at, at, around you. And this, uh, uh, this is, uh, you take the, uh, um, Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I, I, I here, I uh, here, I should write nabla i. So I, I see here's a no, the mistake in, in table in my right here. So here should be nabla u x i. So u x i means uh, uh, so you you see here I have a component nabla i. So I take 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 this uh, uh, this composite of this uh, uh, nabla i. Uh, this showing up the with the index showing up in in i. And this is independent of choice of. Uh, uh, of uh, your, your position, right? Because this is int integrable. So no matter which uh, uh, this uh, uh, order you choose, this is the same thing. So I, I here, I'm sorry, here's I have a type of I here. So here's really new, is nabla I uh, E tends uh, with omega I, okay? So then shows this is very independent of uh, uh, coordinate and it's closed on the differential. So this gives you a sub complex. And because it's in independence of coordinates, you can glue it in size topology. And the glued subcomplex we call in the second London complex. Okay, so this is a very simple definition. And I want to say when D is empty, so then the condition disappear, and this is simply the whole complex. And when the relative dimension is one, then the complex is very simple. So the degree zero term is really the whole module. And the degree one term is uh, image of the uh, image of the module on the connection, and add up the sum with this uh, uh, e times its regular form, regular one form. Okay, so this is uh, this is a subcomplex in the uh, omega uh, e nabla. Okay, so so the notion of the, uh, this uh, this lambda complex is really an abstraction of the. Uh, 
holomorphic in the second ground complex. First, in, firstly introduced by Steve Zuck uh, in, the, uh, in the curve case and the Kashiwala Kawa in the high dimensional case. So I think the, the interesting thing is really the lambda equals zero case. It seems that this, uh, this case is uh, less studied in the uh, in literature. Okay, now, uh, so this is uh, uh, the first theorem, main theorem, theorem A. So K, so now we go back to the uh, character P situation. So K is a perfect field of uh, uh, character P, positive. And X is a smooth variety of a K and a D, uh, a reduced normal crossing divisor. Now we assume the pair X comma D is double to liftable. So it's not just the scheme is liftable, rather the whole lock scheme is double to liftable. Okay, then we choose and fix this such a lifting. And we can still uh, mimic to the construction of August Volgoski, uh, Shepra, give a construction of this uh, uh, inverse Cartier. And, and yeah, so, so this, uh, uh, so I, 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 I just, uh, so just I write a load again by in C inverse, it means inverse Cartier. Okay. Um, then again, you have a, a new potent Higgs module with the uh, same level structure with the, the condition similar as uh, uh, before in the August Fogel August August theorem. And then you have the isomorphisms. So, right. So the, the formulation is just, you, you, if you compare with uh, August for Gosky, the only new thing is uh, here you have the subscript INT. So you just take a very quick. So here is you don't, uh, don't uh, a presence of the uh, device at infinity. So you don't you don't have uh, so you that don't have intersection condition by that example, and then so our theorem just put it int in the presence of uh, of this uh, uh, device at infinity. Okay. So let me uh, say say some some words about this uh, methodology. So um, so. Our method is different from uh, 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 the method uh, in the in the work of August Volgoski. So we are we're rather quite explicit. So we just so given any uh, open car frame u alpha, so a u, and such over each element, uh, you have the uh, lifting existence of a uh, uh, local forbidden lifting. So you imagine. So here's I uh, imagine this for choice for is like kind of a local metric on this uh, uh, open subset. So you have a bunch of, so uh, you have a bunch of choices, but you pick, pick one and, uh, uh, and then use this data. So U alpha F alpha tilde, I just use this data. We construct an explicit quasi isomorphisms from this uh, uh, Higgs complex to the uh, check resolution, the total, total complex uh, of, of this associated this, uh, uh, of this uh, uh, check resolution. So, so this is a check resolution of this, uh, this, this, uh, uh, this push forward, this push forward. So um, then we, we show this quasi isomorphisms actually restricts to an quasi isomorphisms on some subcomplex. So that's, uh, uh, that's uh, uh, the, the, the way uh, we prove it. So, um, so I will say this method is really, um, in spirit is more close, is closer to that, that uh, in the Deligny Z. So you, the, in the case of Deligny Z, you really uh, you deal with a case with a, a constant coefficient. Now you need to add up the information on the coefficient. And this is really tough work. So it's, uh, the, I think the most non-trivial part in, the, in this work is really the construction of this phi. So it's take a long time to really get the correct phi. Okay. Now I, uh, so I say um, applications, so, so to speak. So it's, uh, so it's natural. I mean, I just use this, uh, uh, like, uh, so you use the you use you use that to prove Yuan Dinger theorem. So I just uh, continue with the Yuan generation story. But we discovered that, so if you start with arbitrary, um, uh, uh, um, drama module, 
uh, together with some filtration, I mean, Griffiths trans transverse filtration, you won't get E1 degeneration. So actually, you won't expect that, right? But the, the suitable uh, notion is the following one. So it's a periodic Dirac bundle. So, so we have a Dirac module. So which just means H nabla is, uh, uh, is a flat module and equipped with uh, uh, Griffith transfers uh, uh, filtration. And plus maybe you want to have more uh, locally split uh, some condition. But here I won't say it's periodic. So if, if you find some uh, integer F and a sequence of Griffith transfer filtrations, which uh, uh, level, uh, level is less than equal p minus one, and this is uh, such that. Okay, here is a, a long definition. <laughs> so uh, such that, so um, the final term. Wait. So the final term. So you will. So you you. Uh, let me let me give you some picture. So uh, then then back to this page. So I think I draw the picture here. Right. So look. So you start with some uh, uh, um, uh, H nabla and together with some filtration, right? So you can take grading because it's a gravy transfers. So then you will result in some uh, great Higgs module since the, because, of, because of the condition on the level and the E set has have a crack, crack uh, it's new potent with cracked uh, uh, level and you take the inverse Cartier and you, you get another um, flat module and you can continue to, to pick up here, then you need pick up some uh, uh, Griffith transverse filtration for uh, for that for the uh, uh, starting the the field one and and so on to field f minus one. So field zero is the given one, okay? And continue the picture and to to the last term. So here's one periodic. So it's f equal to one. So this is really the last term. The last term is flat module, which is isomorphic the initial flat module. So here you have a Psi, Psi is the, sorry, Psi is the link, linking data to the ending term to the beginning term, starting term, okay? So that's important. Okay, so that's uh, uh, the definition of periodic Dirac module, uh, bundle. So you, then a priori you can define for any module, but it turns out it's a really a locally free sheaf. So it's a bundle. Uh, and the remark is this is really an analog of the notion of pure Higgs bundle introduced by uh, Lance and Zhou. This is uh, in our previous, previous work. So here's this dumb analog. And this works for our young generation. So, um, so a quick proposition, this is really shown uh, in the, uh, in the non, just a, a skin case. It's really by, um, by the August, um, August Volgowski. But in the lock setting, is the proof is very similar. So, uh, so I say he's saying that this uh, strict p torsion function module of this lock scheme. So it's this is uh, uh, so you have this this is a quadruple. So it's a H nabla field together with ratio form being phi. So the phi induces this uh, this psi here. Okay. So uh, so this is one periodic. Okay. So um, now the second main result. Uh, so we let k and x comma d uh, be as in theorem a. This means a is a perfect few in cash p and x d is a, a w2 liftable lock pair. So x is smooth, d is reduced log crossing. Okay. So assume additionally that x is proper to make sure the finite dimensionality when you're taking cohomology of, of a coherent object. So then uh, uh, for for a periodic drum bundle, satisfying the uh, suitable rank condition, so the rank H plus dimension X is less than or equal to P. Then the special sequence associated to the uh, field complex. So uh, this you have in the same complex, and you have you notice you have the field. The field gives a natural uh, filtration on this on this in the same complex, Dirac complex, and the statement says this is degenerate at one. And the little bit uh, history in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the literature. So in the one periodic case, so first of all, oh, oh, sorry. So in the one periodic case, you see uh, the result can be uh, somehow refined. 
So you don't require the, you, instead of requiring a, a rank condition, you can just require this uh, level condition. So you just assume you need to, it's, it's suffice to have uh, the level plus the dimension X is less than P minus one. So it can happen, you have a large rank, but it's a small level. You can level take level to be trivial, for example. So it still, uh, still works. Then there's a literature. So um, in, the, in the case uh, of uh, uh, this uh, coefficient coming from geometry, this is the risk. The theorem without in the second condition is due to uh, illusory. So in the 1990. So um, yeah. Um, and then 14th and August, um, August in his monograph, um, Obtain variant forms of event generation without intersection condition. So I think they consider more, uh, they, they consider, um, so the, the work of Fadins is uh, uh, somehow, um, so I, it, it, it's, some, it's, it's something about one generation, but the condition, is, first of all, it's not without the intersection condition. I mean, then, then the, um, the assumption on this, uh, uh, in, the run, uh, in the one period case, it seemed that this, uh, uh, some stronger level structure on, on the L. So, um, yeah. And August can see the more general coefficient. So, yeah, so there's, uh, uh, and there's, there's some other works. So I'm sorry, I don't do to uh, include all works, but I just mentioned some, some, some works which I know. So this theorem B. Um, okay, now I want to say something about the uh, uh, proof. So one essential ingredient um, beyond that, uh, ex uh, beyond this uh, deformation theorem, so it's, it's this one. So it's uh, intersection adaptiveness. Intersection adaptiveness theorem. So there's a strange name comes from really comes from the the uh, a, work, uh, a theorem uh, a result by uh, Steve Zucker. So he he in his uh, annals paper he uh, um, his uh, uh, he proved some L2 adaptiveness theorem. So he, his setting is L2, but, uh, but actually the phenomenon is really, the same thing we want to express is really similar. So, so it's really about the commutivity of the grading functor and this intersection condition. So the theorem says that once you are given a, a periodic bundle, okay, periodic bundle, so he actually this uh, works for periodic bundles. So I just stay in one periodic thing. So but there's uh, not much difference uh, in the proof as, uh, yeah. So, um, so this is a real commutivity. Um, I wanna say this periodicity is very important here. Otherwise, one has only a prior inclusion. That's this, you take in grading, take, take grading and take intersection is only a subcomplex of, you take first in intersection and take grading. And equality, it's really a matter, it's really the magic coming from the Fobinios. Okay. So now I can uh, give a one sentence proof of your degeneration. So, so we, we, just, uh, we just look at this uh, diagram of this, uh, uh, look this diagram, okay? So now it's one periodic, right? We want to show this uh, uh, this E one degeneration on this uh, uh, on the left hand side. So basically, you go through you go the argument through this diagram. From this, the you along this uh, H take grading, okay? Then you will get this. You will get. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I scroll down here. So you will get this. So you will uh, have a. a inequality okay you have an inequality okay now this is really coming from that sequence and 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 you you want you want this equality equality if only if you want to generate but you probably have an inequality now then you apply so now the second equality is really uh is uh, because of uh in the second adaptiveness okay so you in the change is a position you put in the change intersection in the grading now now you apply, so now you apply, so you now you apply the decomposition theorem. So it just means you go from the bottom again to the, to the top, okay? Climb along this C inverse. 
to this C inverse E theta. And by the decomposition theorem, under this, uh, uh, this, uh, this level structure, the uh, condition on level structure, we will apply this uh, um, decomposition theorem with the equality. Okay? Then, at, then you use the isomorphism per side. You can replace the C inverse E theta by H nabla, the starting, the starting one, right? Okay, then you, 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 uh, you, you take, a, then you, you repeat the, 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 the pre -step, step, right? The, then you take, the, because the Frobenius is, uh, is a topological isomorphism, then identity here, take a blue Frobenius, then you take the dimension equal, and this is uh, equal. Okay, you 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 take the you call, but you then you notice the starting guy is really the 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 end the, the last guy right the, this then this become a circle so this implies the first equality is actually an equality so that's proof the theorem so this is one sentence proof. Um, now, um, yeah. So the the third theorem so. Main theorem is the uh, vanishing theorem. So um, those are conditions above, and now I consider a uh, pure hex bundle. Then uh, on the similar uh, rank condition, you have this following vanishing theorem. So this is uh, really a type Kodai uh, era cyto type vanishing. So this uh, um, you have this familiar form of a vanishing. Uh, now let me some. Uh, um, connection with uh, uh, known results. So uh, if these uh, periodic hex bundle coming from geometry, then again, this uh, uh, theorem without condition, without intersection is due to elusive in the same work. Um, now I want to say some words about the relation with our plus vanishing theorem. So it is, uh, it is uh, um, um, it's a written work. So using the, uh, um, Use is a histone flow. So um, by Lanson, Zhou, and independent by Langer, we know that a semi uh, a semi stable Higgs bundle with vanishing turn classes and with uh, small rank condition is pre periodic. It's only pre periodic. So you have an example really strictly pre periodic instead of pre -periodic, uh, periodic. So that means the class of a semi stable Higgs bundle with vanishing class is strictly big than the uh, um, periodic Higgs bundle. The category of the periodic fund. The theorem um, C. You're assuming that K is finite or uh, algebraic closure of finite field? Uh, no, the, the finite theorem is uh, uh, no, it's 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 uh, it's uh, yeah, right. It's a uh, closure of the finite field. So uh, well, um, yeah, you're right. So um, right, you need to uh, um, in in in, in uh. I think, no, so uh, I think in the, wait, so the story follows. So I prove, we prove the, in the setting, in the Lanson tool, we prove this really the as closure of the p-bar, but then the longer is show this is uh, really for perfect field, any perfect field uh, in character p. And the theorem of Arapula is really for perfect field in character p. Uh, uh, the same thing as here, the, the, the proof, uh, the things here. But you, the, the, the assumption uh, in uh, using uh, uh, Actually, because of P bar is, uh, is in, in the work of Ranton, so it's really uh, is, is for some other reason. So it's not uh, for, it's for the proof itself. So proof itself is for work for, for any uh, uh, perfect field in character speed. Okay, so uh, then, uh, the, so, so the relation of the theorem C with the Arapura invention is follows. So Arapura show for any pre period Higgs bundles. Uh, without the in the same condition, the theorem C is the periodic bundles with with in, in the same condition. So that's the relation. So we don't know uh, whether theorem C uh, holds for an arbitrary pre-periodic Higgs bundle. We don't know, uh, and uh, we have essential difficult to extend the argument to the uh, arbitrary pre-periodic case. But actually, we don't know if it's true. I mean, uh, for I don't know. So um, yeah. So that's a relation with uh, uh, our plus result. And, uh, and also the proof. So the proof is uh, um, it's also very sharp, actually. So um, 
So you see, um, again, you have a, a since it's periodic, you have a sequence of a, a sequence of the Higgs terms, which which is periodic. So you have a starting with e zero theta zero, and after f steps, you will to e um, e f theta f, which is isomorphic to uh, to e theta e theta zero e theta zero. Then you just use uh, the decomposition theorem and intersection adaptive theorem. So you have the, a, a sequence of inequality or equality and equalities. So you have the, first of all, you have this, uh, um, by the decomposition theorem, you have the equality. And by the, uh, uh, you, you have this uh, trivial inequality, but here I use the, uh, use the intersection adaptiveness uh, once. So and, and it, so here's the inequality. Then I use the intersection adaptiveness. So you have a second inequality. So this really this this second inequality really means you interchange omega intersect in omega intersection with a graph, uh, grading, and the grading is by definition is grading C inverse is one theta one. So this this give you inequality from the initial x term to the uh, uh, the the first the the, the first uh, Higgs term, but twisted by LP. So the important thing, important thing is after flow. So you have the LP power. Then you do again, again, and you, you go here. So you will, to the F term uh, step, you will FP power F. And by periodicity, you will EF theta F is really E theta. So it's very simple. So then you, so here E zero theta zero is very E theta, as I said, at the, I, as I state above. So then you see, then you, you will see that the, uh, this, uh, for any M you have, uh, is really less than this uh, uh, LP uh, power MF. Then you, uh, under the correct dimension on the I, so you just apply, say, a vanishing uh, on, the, on the term on the spare sequence, you will just get vanishing. So this is really consequence of, say, a vanishing. So this is the same reason. I mean, this is really in the uh, Henos, Henos proof of uh, this uh, collider vanishing uh, in character speed. So you, you just say you're using CS vanishing. To 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 do, so, but now we do this really in um, more somehow more systematic way. So this really a this really because of this curiosity. So you can uh, uh, get this uh, uh, this thing. Okay. Now uh, I think I have a um, still uh, several. How, how many time do I have? So I start at uh, maybe three or uh, four minutes. How many? How much? Uh, uh, three or four minutes, you. Three, four minutes. So three or four minutes. Yes. Okay. So that's quick. So um, so I want to say something about uh, uh, my uh, studying program. So I started with uh, some PP analog. So here's a uh, uh, resulting thing. So uh, just recall the uh, notion uh, of the this uh, sp this uh, uh, strip torsion funding funding Lafayette module. So is there a triple equipped with a uh, 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 few and the five satisfied a uh, strong, uh, strong uh, PD condition. So it is a strip P torsion. So the notion is to work for more uh, PN torsion. So I just take the strip P torsion. And the call rate follows. So start, we start with the uh, strict P torsion funding module, which hot theta weight is uh, um, with this condition. So this, uh, one is uh, in the findings is p minus two, so here's better, so p minus one. Um, then, then the uh, then you have this uh, uh, natural morphisms induced by the uh, inclusion. So the, the statement says that this is really the morphisms of strict torsion funding funding Lafayette module. So this is uh, in uh, um, good analog with uh, uh, the classical result. I mean the result in the uh, I mean the the brief two result. So somehow this says I mean this is really a uh, yeah. So it's kind of a um, morphs of mixed hot structures. But uh, we don't we, we need to explore further. I mean into into this structure on the intersection condition. But at least we show this is a uh, uh, morphisms of uh, strip strip torsion uh, FF module. Um, well, I think. I just conclude quickly. I, I have more applications, but uh, for the time, time con uh, con consideration, I just say that uh, we can also certainly. I mean, it's a natural question to ask uh, uh, algebraic proof 
of uh, uh, ion degeneration uh, over C. So th that's a, uh, that's that's a, I mean stand stand application. So I won't won't say that. So I, maybe I stop here. So thank you.